Shalom, 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 Israel. This is Brother J. Israel coming to you again. Praise Yah, giving all honor and glory to the Most High Yah. The title of this lesson is Do Not Shame or Deny the Most High Yah for Man or Woman. Do not shame or deny the Most High Yah for man and woman. We have to be watchful and careful of our ways and how we operate and moving. Even though we are in the world, we cannot be of the world and doing what the world does because the world right now belongs to Satan. Let us open up with a word of prayer and then we're going to get started. Most High Yah, we thank you for bringing us together today, Father. We thank you for all your blessings. We thank you for waking us up, breathing the breath of life in each and every one of us, our children, our relatives and family members, our nation, even those who aren't of our nation, who belong believe, belong to you and believe in you, who are doing your will. We know everything works in your will, good or bad. Father, we pray that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, we ask forgiveness for our sins, past, present, and future. Let us repent and truly repent by changing our ways, changing our hearts, our minds, Father. Father, let us be thankful for what we have. If we do not have legs, Father, it is someone who does not have legs and arms, Father. If we don't have <clears throat> a big home, it's someone who doesn't have a home at all. If we have bills, light bills, gas bills, it's somebody who don't have no bills because they don't have a place to stay. So let us be thankful for our situation, Father, whatever it is. Let us develop perseverance in our spirit through our trials and tribulations, Father. Father, I pray over all the children of your nation, Father. Let them receive guidance, Father, love, help, Father. Let them be guided in your ways, Father. Let them have food to eat, Father. Let them have a bed to stay in. Let any abuse stop, Father. Father, I pray over our women, our sisters, our girls. Let any abuse stop, Father. Let them be raised and guided in your ways, Father. Let them be women of virtue. Take away that Jezebel. Break that Jezebel curse and that Jezebel spirit from our women and our sisters, Father. Let them be good mothers, good wives, good daughters, good aunts, good grandmothers. I pray of our men. Let our men follow you. Be men of Yah, Father. Break those wicked spirits, Father. Break those sexual perversions and deviancies. Let them be leaders and head of household, Father. Let them be good fathers, good fathers to their children. Good brothers to each other with love and kindness, respect. Good uncles, good grandfathers. Let there be peace upon our nation. Let us come together in your mighty name, O Yah, calling your name. Put your name in our hearts and minds and our soul, Father, so we can be on one accord and serve you and do your will, Father. I pray for the homeless brothers and sisters. We pray for them who don't have a place to stay. We pray for the brothers and sisters that's locked away in prison houses that are innocent, Father, that have done life sentences and received harsh punishment, Father. We pray and we wait patiently to be removed from these wicked nations, Father. We pray for that your wrath be felt on all those who are against you, Father. We pray for justice and vindication, Father, for all the wrong that has been done to our people, Father. Hallelujah. Father, we pray for all the sick, Father, all the lame, Father, all those who can't run, Father, who can't walk, who can't get up out their beds, Father, all the pain that they feel in their bodies, Father. We pray that you take that away, Father. That you give them endurance, Father, to overcome that pain, to deal with that pain. That you let your angels protect and watch over them, Father. We pray for the souls of the brothers and sisters who have lost their lives, Father. And their families as well that love them without struggling with their loss, Father. We pray for their souls. 
We pray for the souls of our ancestors, Father. We pray for our own souls. We pray that we rest with the righteous, Father. That we make it to the kingdom, Father. We pray that we can deliver your word. Although we are not worthy, Father, we are sinners ourselves. We fall many times, Father, but we pray, praise you and thank you that you keep letting us get up, Father. Father, we pray that these prayers reach you, that they pierce the clouds, Father, and that you hear them and that you receive them, Father. We thank you. We love you. Hallelujah. Oh. Spirit moving already. Spirit moving me already. I pray that it's moving within you. Your tears flow because it's painful. You grieving for your nation. You grieving for the Father. All the wrong that we have done, all the things that we go through, all the things that you know you going through, that you know other people are going through. Every time you see a, a woman shot, a brother shot by another brother or sister, by the police. Somebody got hurt in an accident. You know it's brothers and sisters homeless out here. So many people locked away. You grieving for these things. You grieving for the things that's to come. You happy. You also elated and showing thanks to the Most High. Don't be shamed for loving the Most High. Don't be shamed for having a heart and loving your brothers and sisters. Male or female, let the tears flow. Let your feelings come out about the Most High. We talk about everything else. People are quick to talk about everything else, but as soon as you start talking about Yah, people start getting quiet. So you start talking about the Word. They already know everything. They don't want to hear it. Nobody could possibly ever know everything about the Most High. That ain't even close to possible. Do not shame the Most High Yah for men or women. We have to be watchful, brothers and sisters, that we don't put anything or anyone above Yah, the Most High Yah. No woman, no man, no animal, no material thing, no thought, no ideology, nothing. Not science, not romance, not finance, not medicine, trying to explain away the glory of the Most High, take away His glory by explaining something with a man-made word or giving credit to the man, the creation, but not the creator. That's blasphemous. That's sinful. That's the worst sin. Because the greatest commandment is to love the Most High Yah with your heart, full heart and soul and have no gods or anything before him. Exodus 20, 4 through 6. This is the Good News Translation. Exodus 20, 4 through 6. Do not make for yourselves images of anything in heaven or on earth or in the water under the earth. Do not bow down to any idol or worship it because I am Yah, your Elohim, and I tolerate no rivals. I bring punishment on those who hate me and on their descendants down to the third and fourth generation. But I show my love to thousands of generations of those who love me and obey my laws. Clearly, if anybody on the planet knows that this is true, it's us. Because we've been punished and punished and punished for our disobedience. The disobedience of our forefathers and mothers. But the time of the Gentile is almost up. We coming out of this, Yasharala. We coming out of this. Israel, we coming out of this. We going to be taken up out of this land. We just got to hold on. 
We just got to hold on and be strong. Take it day by day. Stop trying to make all these future plans. You don't know. Them skies might crack any day. We might be taken up out of this land any day. You could be taken off this earth. We should not be making all these lofty plans. That's ways of the world. Oh, this year I'm doing this. Six months from now, this going to be going on. You don't know what's going to happen day to day. You just pray to the Most High that his will be done and for direction each day that you get up. That's what we should be doing. When somebody asks you what you think going to be going on six months from now, two years from now, how do I know? What is your five-year plans? Whatever the most high five-year plan is, if it's even one for me. Wherever the Father deems me to be doing, I pray that I'm doing his will. That should be your five-year plan, your one-year plan. It's hard enough doing what we're supposed to do, being obedient each and every day. But if we don't do that and we break the laws and commands, then we'll be punished to the third and fourth generation. But if we do what we're supposed to do, the Father will show love to a thousand generations of those who obey his laws. We cannot try to be cool. We can't dumb ourselves down in the word to serve men and women. Where we only try to give them, preach the smooth things. That's the ways of the world, the way of these pastors and these leaders. Only preach so-called leaders, false leaders. Tell them what they want to hear. Don't read the tough scriptures. Don't read precept and teach precept upon precept. Telling that the law is done away with and all these things. Because of Mashiach came. When he clearly he told us himself. He didn't come to do away with no laws. He came so the law could be fulfilled. We cannot deny. You can't deny the father. The most high Yah. You can't deny the son, Hamashiach, Yahusha Hamashiach, Yahweh Hamashiach. If you deny the son, then you not of the father. If you deny the father, then I don't even know what to tell you. You can't try to turn down, change or deny the laws because you're trying to pacify men or women. That's the worldly thing. That's satanic. Let's go to the scriptures. Matthew 10, 33 through 39. Matthew 10, 33 through 39. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. This is Hamashiach, the Messiah talking. Think not that I have come to bring peace on earth. I have I came not to send peace but a sword. For I come to set man a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. He that loveth his father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross, that's his burden, and follow after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. Hallelujah. So we cannot love. Nobody above Hamashiach, the Messiah, Yahushua Hamashiach. The Father and the Son is the same. 
The son is just the father made flesh to die for our sins. It's the light made flesh. The son is the word. The son is the light made flesh. He was there from the beginning with the father. From the very beginning. Him and the Father together made the world. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You cannot deny Hamashiach before men because he's going to deny you before the Father when your time comes for judgment. We cannot do it. And he did not come to bring peace. Yes, he was peaceful, but when he say he don't, he did not come to bring peace. It's because just by following him, by believing in him, by serving, by serving the Most High Yah, it's gonna turn you against those who supposed to love you, against your father, against your mother. If they not believers and they not serving and doing their will, people are gonna hate you. John 15, 18 to 21. If the world hates you, John 15, 18 to 21. Good news translation. If the world hates you, just remember that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, then the world will love you as its own. But I chose you from this world and you do not belong to it. That's, that is why the world hates you. Remember what I told you. Slaves are not greater than their master. If people persecuted me, they will persecute you too. If they obeyed my teachings, they will obey yours. But they will do all this to you because you are mine. For they do not know the one who sent me. So he's saying, if they treated me wrong, they're going to treat you wrong. You're not greater than me. You're not greater than the Most High. Yeah, we his slaves. We his servants. So if they did this to Amashiach, they're going to do it to you if you belong to him. If you belong to the Most High. Yeah. If they obeyed his teachings and they obey it, they're going to obey yours. And you're going to obey his. When you talk about the word and you show them they're not going to speak against it. They're not going to go all around it if they are believers, true believers, and they following the Most High Yah. But if they going around it, if they trying to discredit you, if they calling you names, if they calling you the devil, if they trying to battle you, that's because they don't believe. Or they got that Pharisee and Sadducee spirit, which is still a spirit of non-belief because they did not believe in the Messiah. They was trying to disprove him, trying to find fault in him, trying to kill him, trying to hurt him, accusing him. That's Satan. If you feel, if you experiencing that, you experiencing the same thing that your teacher, your master experienced. They did the same thing to him. In the world, they're going to teach you everything contrary to what the Most High Yah says. The world going to tell you to love another person so much. You my heart and my soul. You my everything. Blasphemy. That's supposed to be the Most High Yah. They going to tell you prosperity gospel. Oh, it's a blessing, financial blessing coming through. Oh, somebody getting a big house. Oh, somebody getting a new car. But that's not what the Bible teaches. That's not what the Messiah teaches, the Most High Yah teaches. Hebrews 13 and 5. Hebrews 13 and 5, good news translation. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be satisfied with what you have. For Yah has said, I will never leave you. I will never abandon you. So keep yourselves free from the love of money. Be satisfied with what you have. What do the world teach you? Man, we got to get it out here, man. More money, more child. More, more, more money. More money, more money. 
They say more money, more problems, but they still chasing the money. Man, I got to get it, man. I need this. I want to live like this. Man, don't be complacent, man. You got to keep on striving to get more money. You got to be a hustler, a go-getter. The words say be satisfied with what you have. And, and depend on the most high. That's supposed to be your rock and your refuge. Not a dollar paper dollar bill. First Timothy. Chapter 4. Verse 6 through 10. First Timothy. Excuse me. Uh, chapter 6 verse 10. Excuse me. First Timothy. Chapter 6 verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Which while some coveted after. They have erred from the faith erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Why do they say the love of the money is the root of all evil? Because you will do anything for it. You will do anything to keep getting it. Why are they killing each other for the love of the money? They killing because they want to they wanna own this block. They killing because they want to take over somebody's country. Or they land. They killing because they want to rob what somebody else got. Some money, some shoes, some chains, some clothes, some jewelry. They scheming and scamming their own people because they want to get some money. They misleading people in the faith because they want to get some money. <clears throat> You ain't having no mega church in this day, in these times, preaching the true word of God, the true word of Elohim, the true word of Yah. You're not having no mega churches and all that because people don't want to follow the true word. People want the worldly, fake faith. The one where you can do whatever you want. The one that accepts everything and everybody. The one that's about gaining money. The one that's twerking in the church. The one that's about the dancing and acting a fool. The one that only, they only speak a couple of scriptures. And it be the same ones regurgitated all over again. And they say, oh, it's a blessing coming from somebody. Somebody need a breakthrough. Somebody got a problem. You think it's a thousand people in there. Of course somebody got a problem. It calls you to err from the faith, chasing money, because you want your riches and your reward on earth instead of getting your reward in the kingdom of heaven. You got different teachings steering the people away saying, yeah, we ain't with that religion, that pie in the sky stuff. We want our stuff here. But if they really studied the Bible, they know the meek will inherit the earth. This earth going to be destroyed. It's going to be a new earth and a new heaven. If they really studied the most high, the most high owned the heaven and the earth. The heaven is his throne. The earth is his footstool. Either way it go, you're not getting around the almighty creator. So we can't get around it. It's nothing you can do. Everybody going to bow down. They got sayings in the world, get down or lay down. No, it's real with the most high. We going to get down or lay down. And be destroyed for all eternity. You going to lay down. For all eternity. Don't fear the one that can kill the body. Fear the one that can kill the body. And throw the body and the soul in the hell. They can kill the body and the soul. The most high yeah. Why do they constantly talk about money. In these churches. In these religions. In this world. They wicked. It goes clearly against the teachings 
of the Most High. Hamashiach said it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than a rich man to get in the kingdom of heaven. So why are they teaching the contrary? It's because they satanic. We got to shun the world. And I know it's hard because we're in the world, but we can't be of the world. <clears throat> but if it was easy, everybody would do it. If it was easy, it wouldn't be a trial or a tribulation. It wouldn't be a challenge. Romans 8, 5 through 8, NIV version. Romans 8, chapter 8, verses 5 through 8. Those who live according to the flesh have their minds set on what the flesh desires, worldly things. But those who live in accordance with the spirit have their minds set on what the spirit desires. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. The mind governed by the flesh is hostile to Elohim, hostile to Yah. It does not submit to Yah's law, nor can it do so. Those who are in the realm of the flesh cannot please Yah. If you operating in the flesh, you cannot please Yah because you're going to, you're going to conform to your sexual desires. You're going to give in to it. <clears throat> You're going to give in to your glut. Now we know that we fall. Everybody falls. But if this is your pattern, this is your norm, you got to change. You got to repent. You got to pray for the Father to enter your spirit. You got to pray for mercy. This is not supposed to be our pattern. We're not supposed to be giving in to the flesh. The flesh say look at porn. The flesh say try to have sex all day. The flesh say curse somebody out when they do you wrong. Hit them. That's not what the father says, though. The flesh say, I battle with it. We all battle with different things at different times. Satan attack us in different ways. But it be the same stuff, just different moments, depending on what our weakness is as an individual, what we're going through at a time. If one of your weaknesses is food or has been, even if you give it up, he's going to try to bring that spirit back to you. Or if you in the house more or you got more money to spend on food or if you in the house more, he's going to try to have you thinking about what you're going to eat all day. If you struggle with sexual desires or sexual perversions, he going to try to get you into that. Dreaming about it, thinking about it, watching something with it. You have to rebuke these things, fight against these things. Resist the devil and he will flee. What is resistance? To pull back, to fight against. We got to fight against it, not give in to it. We cannot be of the flesh, meaning succumbing to the flesh and please Yah. Because the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing. It's the flesh that's weak. In the world, they tell you, follow your mind and follow your heart. That's not what the father tells you. Because them feelings and emotions will lead you astray. You need to follow your spirit, follow the Holy Spirit, follow the most high law, statutes, and commands. And you still pray for a clean heart, a pure heart. So your heart won't be leading you astray or astray as much. 1 John, 2nd chapter, 15 through 17. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. 
for everything in the world. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of Yah lives forever. <clears throat> These worldly things are going to pass. They telling you in the world, oh, it's just everybody come together, everybody love everybody. You have to beware of that. You have to beware of that. Because when they telling you everybody love everybody and everybody just come together, first of all, it's a lie. Because why they telling you that? They killing people nonstop. They police force killing people. They sending people to jail innocently. They killing people for organs. They going around in other countries raping and killing. They instituting abominable practices that will destroy life, homosexuality. They saying it's okay. When they telling you to love everybody, they telling you to love the pedophile. Love what he does. Don't say nothing. You can't judge him. Love the person that asleep with an animal. Love the homosexual. Love the person who cutting off their genitals. So you have to be careful that, yeah, in your heart, can you love people? Yes, you can't hate them. But you can, you can dislike the sin. You can hate the sin. You can be non-accepting of it. When they tell you to love in the world, they're telling you to accept it. Accept this person. Break bread with this person. Talk with this person. Overlook whatever they do. That's what they're telling you of the world. That's not what the Most High tell you. The reason why the Father tells us not to hate is because hate will consume us and hate will cause you to become wicked. We don't have the ability to overcome hate. That's the only reason he's telling you don't hate it. Don't hate the person. Let him hate the person. Let him hate Esau. The father can hate and love whoever he wants. He's the creator. The almighty. We don't have the ability to do that. Because if we love, we'll love. If we hate, we'll hate. But even with love, you have to be careful. It's, 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 it's hard. Even with love. Yeah, we commanded to love our brothers and sisters, our people. We even commanded to love our enemies. But it don't mean you have to know to what extent. Everything comes with a balance and a measure. If you love your mama too much and you love your mama to the extent that you will love your mama in wickedness, and you are following on wickedness, then you're going to damn your soul. So you're supposed to love your mama, but only so much. You're not supposed to love her more than the Most High, yeah. You're not supposed to love her more than Yahushua, Mashiach. You can love your child, but you can't love your child above everything. A woman can't love her child above her husband, because if she love her child above her husband, she'll let her child run the household. <clears throat> and that's out of order from the Most High. She'll let her child, she won't discipline her child. Or a father, he won't discipline his child. He'll put his child over his wife. His child will be making the decisions in the household. I want nuggets tonight. I'm not eating that. We don't, I don't like vegetables. I want to eat ice cream for dinner. But you know that's wrong. You supposed to have, knowing the most has order, what he gives you in your in his word, what he gives you in your conscience, what the Holy Spirit puts on you, what he gives to you in wisdom. You know, if you let a child eat ice cream all the time, they're going to get sick. But if you succumb to the love for the child and let the child do what they want, then you really only hurting the child. You can love your enemies, but if you love your enemies and you follow them, if you love them and you let you let whatever they do spread, you can love them as a person and wish for them to repent. Hey, I don't hate you. I don't hate you because you homosexual. 
I don't hate you because you this. I don't hate you because you that. Some things is hard. You can't even honestly say, like, I love this person. I love, I can't honestly say, I don't love, I can't say I love no pedophile. Father had to forgive me. He, I, I have to, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say about that. And the father know you. I can't honestly just sit here and pretend and be talking about I love pedophiles. I love all this. I don't love no wickedness. I know we wrestling against spirits. So I know that a demon has a hold of that person. <clears throat> but I can't pretend like I like them. I can't do it. That's an abomination. And even with being merciful and being just, the father know what punishment he going to dwell about. And he would even tell us what punishments to dwell out. He wouldn't tell us to let all these different things build in our communities. He told us to stomp it out. And you know what that means. And that's showing love. Because I'm taking you out of your misery. I'm taking you from out of this wickedness. I'm not letting this wickedness spread amongst our nation and amongst our people. But when you start loving the person too much or loving the sin and loving the behavior, then you're going to follow suit. <clears throat> we got to be bold for the Most High Yah. We cannot be weak in our love for the Father. We cannot be shamed. We got to be bold. They did not kill the prophets because they was talking real quietly and they was going on in the corner and praying by themselves. They killed because they was bold. They kept going to the people. The Father told them, keep going to them. It don't matter if they get mad. Don't be afraid of them. Even if they try to harm you. If I don't want them to kill you, I'm not going to let them kill you. But if we die for righteousness, then we even receive in more glory. If we die for the Father, if we die for the Son, we receive in more glory. It's better than dying for some wickedness. They was killing the prophets, putting them in jail, beating them, speaking against them. Go study, go study Ezekiel, Eliza, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Paul. And many others. Go study. What did Elijah say? First Kings chapter 19, verse 10. He answered, Almighty Yah, I have always served you, you alone. But the people of Israel have broken their covenant with you, torn down your altars and killed all your prophets. I am the only one left and they trying to kill me. So we're not going through nothing that Hamashiach didn't go through. We ain't going through nothing that the prophets and the believers and the servants of Yah have not gone through. Even worse. What did Hamashiach say about what they did to the prophets? Matthew 23, 37-39. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who killed the prophets and, st and stoned those sent to you. How often I have longed to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chickens under her wings. And you are not willing. For I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of Yahuwah, in the name of Yahweh, the name of Yah. They killed the prophets. They killed Hamashiach. But we cannot be scared. It's hard. It's hard. We got to keep going. Fight back. Resist the devil. First Peter, third chapter, 12 to 18. For the eyes of Yah are on the righteous, and his prayers are attentive. His ears are attentive to their prayer. Forgive me, Father. But the face of Yah is against those who do evil. He's against those who do evil. Who is going to harm you if you are eager to do good? But even if you do suffer for what is right, you are blessed. 
Do not fear their threats. Do not be threat. Do not be frightened. But in your hearts, revere Hamashiach as master. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect, keeping a clear conscience so that those who speak maliciously against your good behavior in Hamashiach may be ashamed of their slander. For it is better if it is Yah's will to suffer for doing good than for doing evil. For Hamashiach also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to Elohim. He was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit. <clears throat> Hamashiach was put to death in body, but made alive in the spirit. What did he tell the disciples? What did he tell us? He said, the things that I've done, you will go on to do things greater in my father's name. You could, we can cast out demons. We can heal, but we have to have an ultimate faith. <clears throat> We're going to go on and do great things in due time. The elect are going to do miraculous things. The believers are going to do miraculous things. The father say he's going to use us to crush the nations. So although we see brothers and sisters still, it's like the wheel is continually going. Brothers and sisters still being put in jail. Brothers and sisters still losing their lives. We seeing this sickness. We seeing, but all of this stuff, all of this stuff is the most highest will. Because the time of the Gentile is almost up. This wickedness, same time almost up. It's miraculous things about to happen for our people. Miraculous things. In our hearts, in our spirit, in our soul, even though we're going through hardship, we need to be rejoicing because the Father is not a man that he can lie. If he say we coming up out of here, we coming up out of here. If he say we going into the wilderness, but it's going to be a glorious sight, he going to have all types of flourishing things for us there. We going up under the rod of correction. He finna take this wickedness about our people. He going to write his name in our hearts and our minds, our souls. If he say that the skies is going to crack, Hamashiach is coming back, Angels are going to be coming down to fight. Things are going to be, these heathens are going to be getting destroyed. Their cities are going down. Their towns, their countries. <clears throat> he is not a man that he can lie. It's facts. It's going to happen. It's happening now already. Look at all these earthquakes, tornadoes, and floods, and typhoons, and hurricanes. It's happening already. Look at how they killing themselves, going crazy. It's happening already. They just ain't reporting it. It ain't mainstream. It's happening already. The Father already preparing the land for us. It's springs coming out of the desert. It's water coming out the desert. When you hear wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed. Earthquakes in diverse places. These are the beginning of birth pains. It all must happen. We got to be strong, Yashara. Hold on, fight back. Fight back with the word. Fight back with prayer. Fight back with your good deeds. A pure heart, a clean heart. Keep fighting. We got babies. Man, let's do, we, we, we want better for this generation. These generations coming up. We got little bitty mighty men and mighty women of y'all coming along. This is for them. We don't want to do like our forefathers and foremothers being in sin and then making the other generations go into sin. Come out of wickedness. Repent. If you fall down, pray for forgiveness. 
Pray for a clean heart. Get up. The righteous man fall down seven, but get up. Eight, come on, keep getting up. Man or woman. Men be leaders of your house. Women be submissive to your husbands. Stop disrespecting the men of y'all. Stop disrespecting the men of your nation. Men, stop disrespecting the women of your nation. Love each other. Love your brothers and sisters. That's Satan telling you to war against your brothers and sisters. Say something bad. If you ain't got nothing good to say, then shut up. Build them up. You ain't got to tear nobody down. And I have to learn and realize this and work on this myself. It ain't nothing I'm just saying. You, we can't tell somebody down to build them up. That's the world say that. You ain't got to tear them down with your words. Who is you? You just another sinner. <clears throat> if they doing this wrong, show them what they could be doing right or show them why they should. Show them where the Bible say don't do that. But also let them know, hey, I'm a sinner just like you. I sin. I have sin. I do things wrong. If the Most High did, give me your testimony. Look what he took me from. Man, I used to be watching porn. I used to be doing this. I used to be talking crazy to my woman. But the Most High called me, and he moving through me. I don't do that no more. Teach him, teach him in that way. You ain't got to call them all type of names and tell them how bad they are and all this. That's not going to make them want to come to the fall. You got to do it with love. You can't do it with hate. Hate is the way of Satan. It's the way of the world. Shalom. Shalom. Peace and blessings to you. I hope this message helps. I know that it helped me. I pray that it reaches you in good spirit. I thank you for your time. All praise to the Most High Yah. Hallelujah. Shalom.